Hello bakers and chef, welcome to my kitchen and this video I'm gonna show you how to make a snitch, how to make a wind and other stuff that needed for our Harry Potter cake. So yeah, for now uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a snitch. So beforehand uh, I already made my my gum paste. So I'm gonna show you also how to make the homemade gum paste as well. Uh, for now, the, uh, I just only uh, teach you how to make the Harry Potter snits and other stuff that needed for my Harry Potter cake. Enjoy! Thank you so much! So with this, um, any filling that you want to put in in your gun paste or nothing is fine. So or rice crispy or you can do that. The one that I put is a chalk, um, no, it's a ginger, um, candied ginger uh, covered with chocolate like that. So that you know like it's still edible to eat, you know, like if, if you want to eat that uh, snitch ball or so something like that.
so for the wings I look up uh, in the store and I can't find any like plain color so I got this color blue guys but it's fine I'm not worried about uh, I'm still gonna cover it with fondant so it's okay as long as it's flexible when you stretch it that's very important when you're making a wing so that you can make some in any like texture in the wings it's not only like straight uh, texture but you can uh, make a curved style of wings something like that so yeah um, you have to be resourceful or you can find some improvised thing that could help you you know when you're making this it's very easy actually guys but you need a lot of patience of doing this but if you enjoy um, this kind of stuff you know it's very you know fulfilling to you if you've done something like you know not really super beautiful but you know like you've done it successfully you've done it and uh, yeah uh, it's very um, and me myself I feel very satisfied and happy
so it's painting time uh, I put the color already on the circle you know the round one already put the yellow color or buttercream color in that so that when I paint it with the golden paint uh, it will be more darker and you know and then for the wings I didn't put any color with that so that it will be more lighter so like you know the color will be like um, darker to lighter you know for shading something like that so it's very easy but be careful when you're doing this because this is very fragile yeah because uh, I've been uh, drying this for like the whole night already so when you're putting a color make sure you just do it very lightly so that you will not break it because if you break then it's hard for you to put it back it again but just that if that case happened uh, just put a little bit of water in that or a fondant or gum paste for that and then st uh, stick it back in there so it's fine it will not take too long too so to dry it up uh, right away you can use a gum or tylos gum paste tylos something like that there is a combination between gum paste and tylos so use those one if you want to dry up your stuff right away especially if you needed it right away too as well may i usually doing my stuff very late that's why <laughs> I use those stuff, but it's it's fine. It's it turns out it turns out really good. And for brushing technique, uh, you should have that idea. As me, I don't have any studied about doing painting, guys. As long as you make something like light and then to darker until super dark, something like that. How when you do a painting, you know, and then it looks like uh, yeah, it looks like an old stuff. A golden stuff something like that it's really cool guys if you know the technique and and that's all for today tutorial regarding with our sneeds for Harry Potter next on my video will be the whole Harry Potter cake thank, thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe my channel chef Jude kitchen Bye-bye.